Hey there YouTube, I'm Bubbins, and if you're a collector of mounts or want prestigious and rare things, Final Fantasy XIV has that in oodles. Sadly, some of the rarest mounts in the game are rare simply because they were time limited. A game that's a decade old means there are many, like the 13 seasonal mounts from the old PvP event The Feast, can no longer be obtained and will forever be at a 0.0% collection rate on sites like FFXIV Collect. So unlike some other lists, rather than just list off a bunch of stuff that you will never be able to get, I wanted to show you the 10 rarest mounts as of May 2023 that you can still earn and explain how you can go about getting them yourself. For once, I actually wrote this list from number 1 to number 10, rather than being a countdown, so I guess let's just start with the rarest mount in the game. Victor is an exclusive pup that is locked behind an achievement that is actually two separate achievements. There's Take Your A Game Further 3, which requires you to slay 2000 A rank elite marks in Endwalker regions. Then there's Take Your S Game Further 3, which asks you to slay 1000 S rank elite marks in Endwalker regions. This is particularly difficult, because there are only 6 S rank enemies in Endwalker, each of which takes 80 to 140 hours to respawn. If this is something that you want to do, be prepared to server hop and hope that people are patient enough to wait for folks to arrive definitely join those Discord servers that are doing these hunts. Thankfully, the 12 A rank enemies are on a 4 to 6 hour respawn timer, so that's at least a little more forgiving. It'll still take you a ton of time though. Did farming Victor sound miserable? Well, Triceratops is the same thing, but for Shadowbringers. Shadowbring your S game 3 needs 1000 S rank marks in Novarant, and Shadowbring your A rank game requires 2000 A rank elite marks. The number of S and A rank marks available is the exact same as in Endwalker, so this will take just as long. Next up is the Paterandon? 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 Paterandon. Which is one of the worst grinds in the entire game. To unlock it, you first need access to the Firmament in Ishgardian Restoration. Once you have that, you need 500,000 Skyward score in every single Disciple of Hand and Land jobs. For context, even optimized, you will only earn around 5,000 Skyward score per hour for botany and mining. So that's 100 hours for each of those. Fishing, you can get maybe up to 14,000 if you're good and lucky. So that's another maybe 35 hours. Then you have to do all of the crafting classes. In total, you can expect to spend upwards of 500 hours of active grinding on this mount alone. A strobe is a lesser known mount simply because it requires you to be a mentor, which in and of itself is somewhat of a challenge. First, you need to be a combat mentor, which means getting 1500 combinations and 1000 duty completions. You also need to have completed every single duty in the game, including extreme trials legitimately. The only exceptions are ultimate, savage, and the current expansion extremes. Then, you need to complete 2000 Mentor Duty Roulettes. Two years ago, aka Serene gathered data on those 2000 runs and it looks like this. Unsurprisingly, most of it is normal dungeons. Eterna is new and will likely stop being so rare sometime in the next year, but earning it isn't super easy unless you're dedicated and have a static. In short, you need to complete the new Eureka Orthos Deep Dungeon, all 100 floors of it, four different times. Keep in mind that having a party wipe means starting all over, so it's not necessarily a cakewalk. Pinky is also new and can either be purchased for about 22 million gil, or earned by gathering three bottles of Exciting Tonic from gold chests in the Excitatron 6000. 
This has a chance of being accessed when opening treasure chests from Time Worn Kambiriskin treasure maps. There's a ton of RNG inside that map that decides whether or not you make it to the end, and then you have to also have it drop, and if you're following common courtesy, also have it drop when it's your turn for the loot. Once you do have all three, bring them to Nezvaz in Radzahan to purchase it. Tired of hunts yet? Too bad. Time to get grinding again. Not really though. The good news is this. Unlike Victor in Triceratops, these marks aren't region limited. Bring your S game 5 asks you to simply kill 2000 S rank marks in total, something you'd have earned while grinding the other two. The same goes for bring your A game 5, which requires 3000 A rank marks. The next two mounts, which I'm lumping together here, were added in patch 6.3 and can be purchased from Edelina in Mordona for 50 million gil. There's not a whole lot of players who have 100 million gil lying around, hence the rarity. Again, this will become less rare over time. The Gilded Mikoshi mount, also sold by Edelina for 50 mil, has about double the popularity, for example. And sneaking just under the cutoff is the Wyver mount. You can also purchase this one for about 42 million gil. The alternative is obviously grinding a ton. As one of the ultimate rewards for the Shared Fate and Bicolor Gemstone feature, you'll first need to complete 60 Shared Fates in every zone from either Endwalker or Shadowbringers for a total of 360 Fates. At that point, you'll unlock the Vendor in Razadhan or the Crystarium. There, you can buy Bicolor Gemstone vouchers for 100 gemstones each. The mount can be purchased from Edelina in Mordona for 500 of these vouchers. That means the item costs 50,000 Bicolor Gemstones. You get about 14 gemstones per fate, meaning this requires you to complete about 3,500 fates to grind yourself. And those are the rarest mounts. As always, please make sure to leave a like or subscribe, and good luck grinding any of these. Really, like, if you have any of these, congrats. I mean, I guess if you purchase them, like, whatever. But, I mean, even grinding that amount of money is an accomplishment in itself. As always, if you want to directly support the channel, there's a Patreon linked in the description below, or you can become a member right here on YouTube. Are there any other rare things you'd like to see me do a video on? There's a ton in this game to collect, and it's hard, honestly, to keep track of it all without doing some research. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. For now, though, I think that's it. I'll see you next time.